We know being physically active is good for health. The World Health Organization recommends people engage in regular bouts of moderate activity like a brisk walk and vigorous activity like jogging. We know from randomized controlled trials, increasing activity, especially moderate activities, helps to reduce the risk for disability. By disability, I mean limitations and tasks essential to independent living and quality of life. Tasks like managing your money, using a telephone, managing your medications, self-care tasks like dressing, eating, bathing, walking across the room. Disability not only threatens personal independence, it is the leading driver of health care costs, accounting for one out of four health care dollars spent in the United States alone. What we do not know is whether activity of moderate intensity or greater is uniquely important to reduce the risk for disability, or if light intensity activity may also play a role. This is clinically important because some adults are not candidates to participate in moderate activity because of health limitations, but they can do some light activity. To investigate this question, we identified participants from the Osteoarthritis Initiative study who were free of disability but at elevated risk to develop disability because they had knee osteoarthritis or risk factors like obesity. These people were age 49 or older at our baseline interview. We measured physical activity using an accelerometer on a subset of almost 1,700 of these high-risk individuals. This graph represents accelerometer activity over one day. The higher the spike, the more intense the activity. For each person, we measured the time they spent in light activity between the green lines, as well as their moderate or vigorous activity above the green lines. Two years later, one of 11 of these high-risk participants developed disability. To look at the relationship between time spent in light physical activity and the development of disability, we used discrete hazard analysis to additionally control for demographic and health factors. Our major finding is illustrated by these bar graphs. Focus first on the group to the left. These are people who spent at least a half an hour a day in moderate activity. The bars represent the additional time in light physical activity from under three hours a day, the purple bar, to six or more hours a day, the gray bar. The height of the bar represents the age-adjusted percentage with incident disability two years later. You can see that the more time spent in light physical activity, the lower the risk of developing disability. Now let's look at the bars to the right. These are people who spent little or no time in moderate activity, less than 10 minutes a day. You can see as a group, they experience more disability than the group on the left. However, those at the greatest risk for developing disability were those who spent the least time in light physical activity. This figure demonstrates greater time spent in light physical activity was related to less subsequent disability. These findings held controlling for time spent in moderate activity and also controlling for other disability risk factors, both demographic and health factors. These findings are important to adults who may not be candidates for even moderate activity because of health limitations. They may benefit from increasing light physical activity. They pertain to the more than 250 million adults worldwide with knee osteoarthritis and more than 1.4 billion adults who are obese or overweight. The bottom line is to stay as active as possible. Even doing light physical activity is beneficial.